So Darshan, this was great talking about free, your experience in freelancing and remote work. Uh, let's move on to personal branding. So why do you yeah. feel um, everyone, do you, do you feel everyone should have a personal brand? And if you do, why? I mean, I don't really think that everyone should have a personal brand, but I think it's, uh, I think like if you are, if you have an online presence or if you're going out there and posting stuff, or if you're on any social media, or if you have any sort of online presence with a website or newsletter, you, uh, I mean, you don't really have a choice, but you're going to end up creating a personal brand, right? People are going to associate with you with the kind of things that you talk about, and they're going to see you in a certain light. So you can either do it consciously or you can do it subconsciously, but it's going to happen. And what do you think is the uh, purpose of having a personal brand that people do it subconsciously or consciously? Like what is the purpose? It can be very different for different people. I don't think there's like a very generic purpose to this, right. and which is also true in most thing, most about most things in life. Uh, but what I can tell you is I can tell you about the advantages of having a personal brand. So for me, uh, I mean, uh, for, for anyone who has an audience is obviously going to be able to have uh, some sort of leverage as compared to those people who don't have an audience. So I could give you an example, uh, say if you're a founder, you have started a new company and if you already have an audience, if you have a personal brand, it's going to be way more easier for you to attract people to, you know, apply for jobs at your company. You are going to be, it's going to be easier for you to hire new people. Uh, you're going to attract the best uh, talent. Uh, also, if it, you can you can put out the word for your product, uh, for the things that you are doing. You can reach out more people that will ultimately get you more business. Uh, if you are an online creator, in that case, your personal brand is like a uh, big leverage that you have. Because, uh, I mean, whenever you are working on something, you can document it out there, you can share it with the world, you can get feedback from people. Uh, they can always help you drive the growth for it. These are the people who are going to recommend your product to other people. So it's like, it's like a growth engine that you don't really need to work on, except you, I mean, you have to build your personal brand. Uh, but yeah, you have, you can have a lot of advantages if you have a personal brand. And what do you feel uh, are the elements that comprise of having a personal brand? Like what, according to you, would be the elements? It could be a lot of things. Uh, I mean, uh, but mostly it's about the work that you put out there, right? So what is the kind of writing that you do? Uh, and also the kind of, uh, also what is the stand that you take with uh, certain issues? So uh, like if you are a creator and if you are always posting about, I mean, you're, you're using your social media as a way to document stuff, you're sharing what you're working on. If you have, uh, you, you are sharing your milestones or your achievements, you're sharing your failures. And that is the kind of personal brand that you're going to build, that people are going to come there to re know the real story from you. And uh, so that's one part of it. Like it's, it's mostly about what you're going to put out there, but it's, it's the kind of conversations that you engage in and people are start, people would start to see you in that light. So if you talk a lot about transparency or you talk a lot about accessibility, then people are going to know you for that. And whenever they have a particular, uh, whenever they have any conversation around that, they're going to remember you for that. So it's mostly about your work. Also, when it comes to personal brand, I feel it is not a one-time effort. I feel it is a continuous effort. You keep adding and appending, compounding on your personal brand. The more you add yeah. with the, and the, cons like the more you are consistent with it, the bigger your personal brand grows. So, um, like if you agree or not i would want to, i would love to know your views on that and also what do you yeah, feel? i mean i would say it's yeah. very true yeah tell me finish, also, finish the question also what do you feel are the expectations versus realities of building a personal brand because i'm pretty sure it's not as easy as people think yeah so like you like you said uh, i also agree with that so i would say personal brand is more like building trust and uh, trust is something that you can't really stop building on, right? Like you can't say that, you know, I've, uh, I've built enough trust now. People already trust me. So now I don't really need to uh, build any trust. It's not right. like that. The more you have, the better, right? And you can't really stop with that. And I would say like expectations. So a lot of people, they think that uh, they, they overthink or overanalyze when they're starting something. But uh, personal brand is something that evolves with time, right? So when you put out something in the world, you see 
how people are engaging with that. You know what's sticking with them. Uh, also, your interest might change over the time. Uh, I mean, you're just experimenting. You're trying a lot of things, right? So it's it's about that. It's not. I mean, you if you just keep on overthinking and overanalyzing, and you are not really doing anything, then that's obviously going to uh, harm you. And there's no right time to start with it, right? You just start it whenever. You, I mean, you can start it right away, uh, but it's going to change over the time, and you would see uh, you would see that from the kind of feedback that you get. Right. So the expectation is that you have to be on brand from the very first day, but that's not the case. It's an uh, it's a living thing. It's going to evolve with the time. So yeah, be sure to be very careful about that. Absolutely. I hope everyone is taking notes. and like implements this with whatever work they do further after this also darshan um what was your approach in building your brand i'm pretty sure a lot uh, everyone in this uh, inter- in this interview and everyone who watches this would want to know what was your approach in building your personal brand and since you are active on linkedin you are active on twitter you have your side projects you have your case studies you talk about your you have your own blogs as well you talk about your travels and your experiences i've read a lot of them so what was your approach in building your personal brand i did not really have any conscious approach and uh, i was like i didn't even know that there's this thing called personal brand a lot of things that i do in life i initially don't know what they are but when i do it i come to know what they are and then i would just try to build on that and i think the i started with the most simplest thing that you can do to build a personal brand which is you engage with other people uh who already have a following or who already have an audience like and it's not just because they have an audience it's like if you find something very interesting uh, it's better to engage with that and also i feel that you know a lot of a lot of time when you see something which you don't like you you're going to have this uh, a, a very strong instinct of you know going out there and talking about it so you have rage and uh, you're going to talk about it but whenever you like something or uh, whenever you find something i mean if somebody has posted something and there's a particular element of it which you really like you're going to not you're not really going to go out there and appreciate that or uh, write good things about it so i would say like get out of the habit of always talking the negative things and if you like something just just give just send them a small message all the creator needs is that uh, somebody likes their work and that's going to open up a conversation right so i mean that's that's the way that you can engage with them which is if you like something then also engage you don't always have to engage when you disagree with something so one way was engaging and the second way is that documenting and i think that's the most simplest way that you can start with building a personal brand uh you do something and you just share your story you document it and also like uh if you if you go out there and if you say if you pretend to be an expert in something or if you claim that you are an expert in something now then you are going to carry a lot of weight on your shoulders uh if you if you say something which is not uh, well thought out there are going to be people on the internet who would tear you apart and that can only happen if you say that you are an expert and you don't ha- and you haven't done your homework but if you're just going out there and sharing your story if you're just sharing your journey and then there's no way that you can go wrong about it right it's just your story and either people can like it or they can dislike it but it's not going to change the fact that it's your story so documentation uh, or documenting your journey uh, just removes all that fear or all the expectations from you and you can just be your authentic self so i used to do a, a lot of that i mean even now you would see that i have this monthly thread on my twitter where i do a month in review so i used to always do that review and uh, now the way that i started with this was i for the past 4 years i have been writing a blog uh, about my year in review so at the end of the year i would see at the things that i've learned or things that i've achieved my failures so just a way for me to document it and i can always look at it and reflect and i also believe that writing is a way of expression so when i write i know that i can reflect a lot on it so and and i used to ha- do this blog but there was a problem the problem was that uh, i it is to take me a lot of time to think about all those things and because i had not really written all those things right so i used to i used to go on the go on my blog and see where i've been mentioned and try to recollect all those things so i thought if i just start writing a monthly summary then at the end of the year it would become so much easier for me so i started with a notion document and i started putting in my monthly thoughts or my monthly learnings and achievements or my monthly review 
And then I thought that why not just make it public? Because anyways, these are the things that I wouldn't be afraid of sharing publicly. So I just started a thread with thread about it. And I've been getting a lot of feedback. Uh, other people have also uh, got an inspiration from that and they've started their own thread of monthly review. Uh, so it's a great way that you just go out there, share your story, document it, and you'd get feedback and you'd slowly be seen as a person who is not afraid to go out there or, uh, and people, and you also become more approachable. So when people see those kind of things, if people read those kind of things about you, they kind of, they start knowing you. And, uh, with that, they don't really have that fear of, you know, they don't feel that you are an unknown or strange person that they cannot reach out to they would be much more comfortable in reaching out to you. So there's another way that you can uh, get people to engage with you. So yeah, documentation. And then also you can just keep on sharing your learnings. So uh, since I've been uh, doing freelancing and designing and traveling and working on side projects and all these things, there are a lot of things that I learned. And those might not be the things that are like, uh, I mean, it, it's not something that, it's not a breakthrough or a, new discovery it's just that it's my learning and i can just share that right so i would just keep on sharing the learning from my process if i fail on something if i had any achievement or something so it's mostly about that and i'm not trying to be an expert i'm just going out there and sharing my story which is why i don't get uh, which is why a lot of people i don't offend a lot of people because i'm not pretending to be an expert that's great actually like what I really like about is that firstly, I feel I recommend everyone should check Darshan's blog. They are on his website, darshangajra.com. Uh, I've added the link in the description. Everyone should check it out in the group chat. And what I really like about your uh, blogs is that you're not showing off. You're very normal. You're, ex you're sharing your learnings, you're sharing your experiences, what uh, difficulties you had is, for example, when you had difficulties in getting your visas, uh, when it came to getting like moving from one difficult situation, one comfort space, one from one space to another uncomfortable space, and just diving in and exploring things, and keep going for it. Like you really tried and tried, and you made sure that if I don't get a visa right now, I'm going to get it the next time, and I'm going to make sure this is happening. So. Yeah. A big part of your personal brand, I feel, which I feel for everyone's personal brand is their story, which makes it unique, their story, their narrative, which like you mentioned, it comes with documentation or uh, the way you document it, the way you express it. If you express it as some knowledge that you're sh like imparting to everyone. And if it's wrong, people might, might grab you for it or might take you to task. Yeah. For it. But if you're sharing your own learnings, your experiences, people would rather take it as learnings and be like, oh, okay, this is something which can happen and this is so normal and they relate to it a lot more as well because it's more human. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So with this, I had to, uh, by the way, we're very, we're very nice somebody. And I also must say that you have done a lot of research. So uh, it's, uh, I mean, it, it would, it's only because of your research that we can have conversations like this. Exactly. Exactly.